guys, just thought I'd do a little aquaponics update here on my uh, grow bed. Now this grow bed is definitely an experiment in the making. I wanted to show you, I did kind of plant a couple of beans late. It is December, and if you can see right there, this, this bean plant is really producing. We've had a lot of warm days, though. that's why I did a lot of this stuff. I mean, there's a ton of beans in there, if you can see them. Um, and like I say, we've had a tremendous amount of warm days. We had one day drop down to the 20s, which kind of messed up some of my stuff. But as you can see, these beans are doing pretty good. Here's a cabbage I got right there. It's actually, these cabbages are actually doing excellent. Here's a lettuce plant that I had, and I let it go to seed. I'm going to go ahead and get some seed off that thing. I didn't really mean to do that. It just kind of happened um, <laughs> when uh, it got really hot, so I kind of let it go too long. And here's another cabbage bed I got. And man, you can see these cabbages. They are doing awesome. I mean, there, you know, there's no space in here. I, I think I got seven or eight cabbage plants in here, and they are doing really good. Over here, there's a cauliflower plant, and I kind of rescued this cauliflower plant from it was in a typical traditional garden thing, and uh, so I kind of pulled it up and uh, and put it in here, and it's actually starting to do pretty good. I got another bean plant right there, so. I'm going to be doing a lot more expansion. I got a couple more beds here. I need a lot more grow beds for the amount of of, of, of fish I got. But uh, I mean, I got a I, I got a moving bed biofilter and all that there to, to help with the, the uh, nitrogen or the nitrates and all that. And it's uh, it's working really good. You can see stuff is growing. This system is probably now about six or seven months old, and uh, it's doing really good. Let me show you stuff I got in the Dutch buckets over here. Okay, here's the Dutch buckets. What you see I got here is one little bell pepper plant. This plant was kind of struggling. I got it, you know, kind of put it in here to kind of save it. And it's starting to do, I mean, like I say, we're in, this is, I don't know, December the, the 12th or so, something like that. And here's a, a cabbage plant I got growing in the Beto bucket, or the Dutch bucket. And it's doing pretty well. Got a nice little broccoli plant there. It's doing not so bad. Here's a little cauliflower plant I just put in here. Uh, it was one that was about dead from uh, not being taken care of in a, in a ground system I was messing with. And uh, so I'm putting it in here and see if we can get it revived. Another lettuce bolt there. And here is another cauliflower plant. You know, this is my really first uh, system. So I'm doing a lot of experimenting with plants and different types of ways to grow. And so. Uh, Hopefully I'll get a lot of information and give you guys a lot of feedback in the future. Here's another pepper plant I got in this thing, man. I tell you, I just got some peppers off this thing yesterday. There's some nice ones in there. And they were excellent. Oh my goodness, the smell was so good. The taste was excellent. And here's a cabbage I got growing in a beto bucket. So as you can see, I mean, things are growing good. Uh... And, uh, I mean, some of the winter stuff is not doing as good as it should because it's been so doggone hot. But anyways, uh, if you guys have any questions, like what you see, uh, you know, things that can help me out, as a matter of fact, as far as, uh, you know, some stuff you've learned or whatever, feel free to share. And uh, I look forward to it. Thanks a lot. And you guys have a great day. And like I say, go ahead and subscribe, too, if you like the videos. I'm going to have a lot more coming up. I got another system I'm building. I kind of had to take a break on it, but... It will be uh, back up and functional here before springtime. So anyways, thanks a lot, guys. Y'all have a good one.